Hello everyone, this session is going to be inshallah uh, our next topic, our next topic is going to be um, a reading comprehension and we will learn something new, it would help us to understand our comprehensions. Uh, let's start, uh, we will have a peek together at the words of unit 11 because we are going to see all of these words inshallah in the comprehension, let's start. Okay, now let's have a step back. Oh, yes. Here are our words. And um, I, uh, I wish you watched the last video. It, uh, it was talking about all these words and how can we deal with them. Let's have a fast pick about them or add them. Uh, the first word, farmer. You know farmer, the one who works in a farm. He works with um, animals, he takes care of them, and he uses his things to plant uh, for them, to plant uh, vegetables and things for the animals to be able to eat. And the thing behind them is the tractor and everything. Yeah, this is a tractor, not a truck. I believe I said tr a truck last time. So it's not a truck, it's a tractor. Okay, let's see here uh, the next picture. Cow, milk market, sell and buy, plain and fancy. Yes, you remember I told you last time these two words, they are verbs and they are opposites, so they are antonyms. Sell is, means to give something and take money. Buy is to, yes, give money and take something, vice versa. And here, plain and fancy, these two words, we said they are adjectives. The adjective is a describing word, a word I can describe a noun with it, like a big cat, small mouse, like, um, you know, tall person, and so on. Here we have plain and fancy. Plain, it means something which is, uh, it doesn't have any uh, colors, I mean, a lot of colors and decorations, and no. Here, the word plain means something is just like bare. It doesn't have anything but a simple shape. But here, fancy, the other adjective, it means something very colorful, very decorative, just like these shoes we see. So these are the words we are going to see, inshallah, in our comprehension. So um, remind yourself with them. Okay, let's go to the next part, and uh, the part I do love, uh, the reading strategy, where we can learn something new to understand our comprehensions well. Okay, here is, um, it's a not very, uh, the new strategy, you see, it's uh, the sequence. The word is new, but the concept, we have talked about it before. Let's see, what is a sequence? The sequence is the order of things. Like this, numbers are in a sequence, like one, two, three, four. Can I say three, one, two, four? Is this the right order? Is this the right sequence? No. So when I say the word sequence, it means the logical beginning and middle and end of something. You know, I have to start with number one and then say two, three, four, and so on. In the story or in any uh, piece of reading we are having here, we have to put in our minds what is the first part. Okay, what will happen next? I will just start to guess and understand that I cannot put this part before this part and so on. Okay, let's see the rest of the words here. Stories have a sequence too. Things in the story happen in an order. So any actions in the story should have an order. As you read, think about the sequence. This helps you understand the story. So when we start reading together now, we are going to start thinking, yes, this is the first part. Yes, and this is the second part. And this is the third part. Can I put the third part instead of the second and just to switch them? 
the story will not make sense. Yes, you will find yourself confused. Oh, what is this? Like, so, so we need, while we are reading together, we need to put the story uh, in our minds in an order, in a sequence. Okay, here we have a little practice, and I believe you're going to understand more about this concept if, we, if you do this with me. Let's see. Here we have three sentences, and we are going to order them. They are not in the right order. Let's look at the picture first to understand what we are going to have here first. Yeah, this is a girl I see. She has here, you know, TikToks and so on. And she's holding a milk box and she looks nice and happy. Okay, so let's read here. He, he told us this sentence is going to be number one. But I want to read all of them first and then start to decide which is number one, which is number two and three. Let's see number one. I go to the market. I buy milk. I am thirsty. I drink the milk. It's tasty. Okay, so he told us here this is going to be number one. I'm thirsty. So the girl feels thirsty. Okay, what will she do first? She will go to the market to buy the milk or she will drink the milk and then she will go to the market to buy the milk. Yeah, of course, she will go to the market first to buy the milk here we go she's going to go to the market first to buy the milk and then she's going to drink it this is the logical order of our story we are going to go to the market first and then she uh, she's going to go to the market first and then she's going to drink her milk and at the end she says it's tasty okay here we have another practice i would like to just, I will read it with you, okay? I will give you a chance to think about which is going to be number one, what's going to happen next, what's going to happen after that, and so on. Let's read this together. In the afternoon, they fly their kites. It's very windy. Both kites fly high. Hannah paints her kite blue. It's plain. Omar paints his kite purple and orange. It's fancy. It's time to go home. What a fun day. You remember the exclamation mark. It's a windy day. In the morning, Omar and Hannah make kites. So, what will you start your story? What the, which sentence you're going to start your story with? First of all, you need to know who are the people in my story, what is the time at least or the place, and then you're going to say what will happen in your story. This is the normal order of any story. You start saying your place, your time, and your characters. Characters, it means the people in the story, okay? So what do you think this uh, uh, the, uh, number one is going to be? Which one of these sentences? Think about it. I will not answer or I'll not show you my answers now. Okay, let's see number two. After you know the place or the time and the people, you're going to start to know what will they do in your story. After you think about this and you find your sentences, let's see what at the end, what are they going to, to do at the end? Okay, take your time, stop the video, take your chance, it's okay. If you did it right or wrong, it's not our issue now, we are just learning something a bit new. So feel free to do whatever you want. Okay, now I will show you my answers. And uh, I believe most of you did it right, inshallah. First of all, I told you we need to know first what is our time and place and who are the people in the story. 
And I believe this, this sentence speaks about what I'm saying now. See, it's a windy day in the morning. Here's the time. Omar and Hannah make kites. So Omar and Hannah, these are the characters, the people in the story. And they are making kites. Now I understand to, uh, to, to put this in my mind as number one. Okay, after they going to make kites, how will they do their kites or make their kites? Let's see. In the afternoon, they fly their kites. Did they, in this part, they show us how did they make the kites? No, so this is not going to be number two. Let's see. Hannah paints her kite blue. It's plain. Uh, Omar paints his kite purple and orange. It's fancy. So now I start to know what are they doing or how do they do these kites. I believe this is going to be number two. Yes. And after they make it, what are they going to do with them? They are going to fly them. In the afternoon, they fly their kites. Yes, this is going to be number three. And after they finish playing, it's time to go home. What a fun day. Yes, this is going to be number four. You see, we think about any story this way. We start any story by saying, who are the people in the story? Who, who are the characters? It shouldn't be people. It can be animals like cats and dogs and whatsoever. It can be things can move. Uh, I mean, like, you know, in Cinderella, uh, not Cinderella, uh, in, um, you know, the Beauty and the Beast. Yes. In this story, they had everything moving, like the cups and wardrobes, everything was moving in this story. So they are characters too, because they can talk. So the characters is anything can speak and move in our story and it tells us something in the story. Okay, so we start the story with, to know how, uh, who are the characters and what is the time and place. And what is going on? What's happening here? I want a beginning, okay? So after that, we think of the right sequence of our story. Okay, that was our um, reading strategy. I wish you enjoy it. It's really nice and it will help you a lot. You remember we learned things to uh, do when we read our comprehension to understand it well. You remember what were they? Yes, we read, the, we, we look at the pictures first and then we read the title and then we have a peak, very small, uh, very quick look at the questions to be able to know what is he going to tell us or ask, uh, 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 ask us about. Okay, and here is our new strategy. We start to understand what is the first part of the story? What's the second? What is the third part? And so on. Okay, uh, let's go now to our comprehension. Here we have a preview about the story. Here, this part, he tells us some uh, information about the comprehension we are going to read. Uh, the farmer and the hat. This is going to be our title. Let's read this part. In this story, we learn about what a farmer needs and what he wants. Yes, you remember wants and needs. Yeah, I did a full video about uh, wants and needs. Actually, the want is something you feel that you want to so take it, but it's not very important for you. You can live without it. But the need is something which is Totally, totally important for you. And if you don't take it, something bad is going to happen to you. Like water, like food, yes. Like a shelter, a place to, cover, to, to stay safe inside it. And, you know, clothes. We need clothes, nice and clean clothes to cover our bodies. So such things are very important for our life like medicine you know when you get sick you need to take some medicine to get better 
And what else you remember? Yes, family. Family is the most important thing in our life. If we don't have family, we can live, we cannot live alone. Okay, so uh, now we have a farmer and this farmer, he will know or he will learn what is a need and what is a want. Okay, this story is a fable. Fable is a, is a, sort, uh, is a short story that teaches us a lesson. So we are going to learn a moral or a lesson at the end of our story. What to do? I mean, something we can take in our life and make use of it. Okay, let's now go to see our comprehension. It's really interesting. Okay, as I told you, this time our story, it looks like a comic book, you know, when you see a picture and some words, picture and some words. This type of stories, we call it comic book. But so, so we are not going to look at all these pictures, of course. We are going to just have a look at the biggest picture here. This is the main picture of our story. The farmer and the hat. Let's look at them. Uh, I, this is uh, his wife. You know, the wife, when, when a, a man and woman, they live together, so they become a wife and a husband. So uh, they are, what are they doing? Yes, they are harvesting, I mean, um, it may be harvesting the carrots, and they look tired, and they work hard, I see. Yes, and here they are putting on hats, and they have here this wagon. Yes, that's everything in the story I see, and they have their uh, car at the back, at the back. So let's see together. Uh, let's read together. Uh, what is this story? Let's listen first, and then I'm gonna give you a chance to read. Let's start. Page one hundred ten. Read. The farmer and the hat. Tomas Flores is a farmer. He doesn't have a lot of money. He grows carrots, potatoes, and onions. He and his wife, Rosa, work hard every day. Yes. So here we know the names of our characters, what are they doing, and uh, uh, just a quick information about them. Let's read again. Thomas Flores is a farmer. So Thomas Flores is the name of this man. His name is Thomas. He doesn't have a lot of money. Again, he's not that very rich like Hans, you remember in unit 10. He grows carrots, potatoes, and onions. He's a farmer, so he plants. Okay, he and his wife, Rosa. So what is the name of this girl? Rosa, yes, work hard every day. So they go to their farm, they start to plant, to harvest, and they are working really hard. Let's see what will happen next. But before this, please take a chance to read. Stop the video. Here is the part you're going to read. Try to read it as you heard it from the audio here. Yes, now let's start to follow our reading or to continue our reading. Let's see. Farmer Flores has a cow. It gives lots of milk every day. Mrs. Flores sells the milk at the market in town. Oh, yes. So this family, they have a cow. Look at this. Look at the picture. Yes, they, ha they, they have actually a lot of milk, mashallah. So where do they get this milk? Yes, they get the milk from the cow, of course. Let's see. Farmer Flores has a cow. It gives lots of milk every day. Mrs. Flores sells the milk. Mrs. Flores, it means with the S, the, word, the, the one with S, it means we are talking about a woman 
who has a husband so we call her after the name of her husband like mrs flores she is the wife of mrs Flo uh, mr flores so she is mrs flores okay let's see here uh, mrs flores sells the milk at the market in the town so she goes to a market and she sells the milk there she stand here like this and she puts the bottle of milk in the market and she starts to sell them I mean she gives the milk and take the money gives the milk and take the money so she has inshallah a lot of money <laughs> okay let's see here I want you to take a peek at this picture before we start reading what do you think what does she have she has a paper that we have here a woman and men they are they look like they are dancing and this looks like a party yes so here the man was giving hay to the cow i see and he looks like oh what is she saying let's see what are they saying here one day mrs flores comes home from town she's very excited there's a dance in town on Saturday. Can we go? Oh, yeah. Let's see. One day, Mrs. Flores, the woman, comes home from the town. She's very excited. There is a dance in the town on Saturday. Dance in the town, it means everyone is going to go together. They're going to have a party and they're going to dance together. Can we go? She's asking her husband. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at the picture. They don't look very happy. I don't know why. Let's know why together. I'm sorry, but no, says Farmer Flores. We're plain people. It's too fancy for us. His wife is very sad. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm sorry, but no. Who said this? The former, the man. We are plain people. As you remember, he told us at the beginning that um, they don't have a lot of money. So they just sell milk and go and buy some food to eat and that's it. They don't have a lot of fancy clothes and fancy things they can go with. It's too fancy for us. This is not for us. We don't have such fancy clothes or fancy appearance we can just go to the party with. Now his wife is very sad. Okay, let's see what will happen. The next day, Farmer Flores has an idea. He takes the cow to town and sells it at the market. He buys a very fancy hat for himself and a beautiful dress for his wife. Oh, 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 let's see what did he do. The next day, the day after they were talking about this issue and they are plain people and so on, Farmer Flores has an idea. He takes the cow to the town and he sells the cow at the market. I mean, he gave the cow to someone and he took money. What will he do with this money? He buys very fancy hat for himself and a beautiful dress for his wife. Yes. Okay, so you remember the big cow with a lot of milk that keeps them alive and they just do everything from this milk? Yes, he went to the market and he sold it. He sells the cow and now he has a fancy hat and fancy dress to go to the party. Yeah, do you think this is a clever action? <laughs> yeah, of course not. <laughs> yes, they have something important. What? is the important thing they had. Yes, they had the cow. And now, what do they have? They have a hat and dress. 
Okay, let's look at this. Yes, this is our man, Flo uh, Thomas, and he goes to the market. This man is going to give him the money and Thomas is going to give this man the cow. And this man, see, he has fancy dresses and fancy skirts, hats. He has everything. So he's going to take these things to his wife. Let's see. Oh, 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 here, the wife, Rosa, she doesn't look happy at all. And see the, the Thomas, Thomas actually is a thoughtful one. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he didn't want his wife to be sad, so he tried to please her, but not to this extent. <laughs> I mean, we, she, yeah, he, he needs to think first. Uh, he needs to think first about what are the things they really need and what are the things they only want. Let's read. He runs home. He puts on the fancy hat. He gives his wife the beautiful dress. We can go to the dance, he says. Oh, oh. Now he runs back to the home. He was happy. Yes, I've got a fancy hat and my wife has got a fancy dress so we can go to the party. Why not? And he told her, we can go to the, bar, uh, to the party now or to the dance ball now. Oh, let's see. Look at this. Yes, let's see what is she saying about this picture. His wife is angry. Our cow gives us milk every day. She says, we sell the milk. We get money to buy food. Oh, yes, see? She says, our cow gives us milk every day. We go and sell the milk, so we got money. With this money, we can just go and buy our food. Yeah, that's logic. It's important to have some money to get the things we need in our home. So the cow here is a big need for this family. Okay, let's see. Look at that. They're still talking about the same issue. Oh yes, so they love their cow so much. <laughs> so they put a picture of their, uh, on their uh, corner. Okay. I believe this is not going to be very clear. And let's put this up. Oh, yes. I believe this is going to be good. But you want beautiful clothes for the dance, says Farmer Flores. Can we eat the fancy hat and the beautiful dress? Mrs. Flores asks. No, we can't, says the farmer. We need our cow. Oh yeah, so now Farmer Flores, uh, Farmer Thomas started to understand the point of view of his wife. He started to think, oh yes, what did I do? He told her first, but you want beautiful clothes to go to, for, to, uh, for the dance, says Farmer Flores. He, she told him, can we eat fancy dress and fancy hat? Can we just take these things and eat them? What will we eat? If we don't have the cow, we don't have money, so we don't have something to eat. Miss, uh, Mrs. Flores asks him, can we eat these things? He said, oh no, we can't. Farmer, uh, the farmer said, we need our cow. We need to go and get our cow back. Okay. So what did he do? Look at the picture. Now, yes, he gives the money back and the clothes to the man in the market and he will take back his cow. Let's see this. Uh, please, probably, uh, please probably one start to stop the, uh, the, the, the video here and read the previous part. Sorry, the previous parts, they are important. Uh, so I'm sorry, I forgot to stop with you. Let's see here the part. 
Farmer Flores takes the dress and the hat back to the market. He buys his cow back. Now he tells people, never sell something you need to buy something you want. Oh, yeah. Now here is the lesson we are going to apply in our life. Farmer Flores takes the dress and the hat back to the market. He buys his cow again. And now he tells the people never ever sell something you need to buy something you only want. Yes, do they need the dress and the hat that much? No, they don't. It's only a want. Okay, I want to have this dress, but do I have money? No, it's okay, fine. I'm just going to go away. That's fine. If I had the important things in my life, that would be fine with me. Okay, uh, please again, don't forget to start the video and read uh, the, the, the reading parts here, please. Okay, so now look at the picture. His wife is happy again with the cow because it's a need. The cow is a need for this family. Okay, so that was everything about our story. I want just to let you see the full story again. Uh, what do you think about the order of it? it, is, it uh, is it put in the right order? I mean, this is what happened first and next and then and so on. Yes, I believe the story is put in the right order. And now we are going to go to the questions part where we are going to put the story in the correct order. He's going to give this, us the story mixed up. I mean, it's not arranged, it's not in sequence. And we are going to put this story in sequence together, inshallah. Okay, but before we do this, no, let's do this first and then I'm gonna say what I want to say. Okay, here. Let's start with this part. Here is the, your favorite part about the story. What do you like about the story? The farmer sells his cow. If you like this, okay. If you don't, just take this one. And if you just have no idea about the matter or you don't care about this, just stick in the middle one. The farmer buys his cow back. The farmer buys the fancy hat and beautiful dress. If you like this part, it's okay, fine. If you don't, just take this one. And the farmer understands about wants and needs. And yes, that's my favorite part, you know. When we just know what are our needs and our wants, we are going to live happily, inshallah. Here, this part, you're going to do it with, uh, uh, you know, your brother or something like so. You're going to ask him about his favorite part about the comprehension. I wish you see this with someone to be able to do this activity with him. Okay, and here is our, um, you know, big question. Think about the story, number the pictures in order. Here. Let's look at all the pictures first and then under, uh, try to decide which is going to be number one and two and everything. Let's see here. Here I see the man in the market is giving uh, Thomas the dress and the hat. And here Thomas has got an idea and he told us this is number one. And here Rosa is not happy because she sees the hat and dress. You remember this part? And then here, the, the, uh, uh, Thomas, he will take the money from the seller in the market and he's going to give him the cow. And here is vice versa. Now Thomas took his cow again and he's giving the money back to the man in the market. Okay, he told us this is going to be number one. What do you think, which is number two? Yes, he's going to go to the market first to sell his cow to get the money. So this is gonna be number two. Let me show you the answers here. So this is gonna be number two. And uh, what will he do after he gets money? 
he's going to go and buy the, the hat and the dress. This is, will be number three. And what did he do after he bought these things? He, yes, he ran back to the home to show the things to his wife and his wife is not happy. This is number four, yes. And what did they decide to do at the end? They decide to they, uh, to give the money back and everything and take the cow. Yes, this is the right sequence or the right order of our story. Let's think about this part. Why was Mrs. Florence angry? Why was she angry? Yes, think about it, but my words are going to be that Mrs. Flores is angry because she knows what is a need and what is a want. And she knows well that she needs the cow and she doesn't need the dress. Yes, let's see, what's number two? What's the lesson of the story? Yes, surely we are going to say that our moral or our lesson of the story, never ever sell something you need and go to buy something you only want, like the cow and the dress. Okay, that was uh, our comprehension for today. I wish you enjoy it. It's very nice one. I do like it. And actually, I have, a, I have another point of view about this story. You know what? If you want to go somewhere, just trust yourself and trust what you have. You have very nice things. So that wasn't a good way of thinking of the uh, man, of Thomas, to say, no, we are plain people and this party is too fancy. No. You can go wherever you want. You are a very good person. Your clothes are clean, so that's it. You have nice and clean clothes, that's it. Never mind about fancy or plain or things like so. No, they are not important. What is important is to do what you want, if it's right, of course. Okay, that is everything for today. I wish you enjoy it. I'll see you, inshallah, next lesson in this week. Bye-bye.